Hello, I'm Tim McGee from LecoLab, and you are human. But it turns out most of the cells in and on your body are not. In fact, if we were to zoom in on your skin, we would find an entire thriving ecosystem of bacteria, fungi and archaea. We call this the skin's microbiome. We still don't know a lot about it yet, but we do know that it's important. Scientists suspect it's linked to our immune system development, wound healing, disease protection, acne, psoriasis, and a lot more. The ecology of our skin's microbiome can have a dramatic impact on our own health and well-being, yet the products we use on our skin have never even considered our microbiome. We want to change that. By bringing together rigorous science and design, we hope to understand how our microbial life responds to the products we use, and how this might impact our well-being. As biologists, we want to know how different oils or textiles change our microbial ecology. As designers, we care about how products work with the life that is on us, in us, and around us. Let's take a moment to imagine what our products might be like after we understand our own microbiome. What if soaps, lotions, and makeup, instead of killing your natural microbial ecology, made it more diverse, more personalized? What if your cell phone could monitor key microbes on your body and let you know when they were having trouble and needed a boost? Imagine if our jacket could keep diseases from spreading on the bus or subway by using a diverse set of microbes to fend off the invaders. Or what if our genes didn't need to be washed because the microbes kept them smelling fresh and clean? These are a few of the scenarios that we hope to make a reality. For this project on Experiment.com, Sean Gibbons and I joined forces. Sean is a current PhD candidate in the biophysical sciences at the University of Chicago. To kick off our work, we will collaborate with volunteers who will change their grooming habits and try out new ways to wash their skin. Each volunteer will receive our microbiome skin kit. That includes swabs, sample tubes, new grooming lotions or soaps, as well as some early prototypes of our special cleaning products. We will also be observing them and asking questions about their grooming behaviors and products to see how well people adjust to these new ideas about washing. The volunteers then swab several areas of their body several times a month and send those samples off to the laboratory, where the DNA of the microbes is extracted and then sequenced. Sean and I get the results and figure out which populations of microbes are changing as the volunteers change their behaviors. The data from both the DNA study and the behavioral study gets analyzed, synthesized, and turned into a useful scientific and design tool. It can help us and others refine new product development concepts, such as novel washing products that can respond to our microbiome. We will be able to pave the way for new design projects to use similar analysis tools. And the research itself can lead to new publications about how the skin's microbiome supports our own health. In short, we can do amazing things. But we need your help. The cost for this project is primarily driven by the DNA extraction and sequencing budget, which is there because to run a full 300 samples as a single unit costs about $9,300. We also have a little bit of money set aside for creating our sample kits, supplies, and compensation for the volunteers. Learn more about the details of the project, our own personal in-depth behind-the-scenes videos, and ongoing updates in the lab notes section of experiment.com. Let's build a world where our health is connected to the health of the microbial world around us. Thank you.